Let's take a look at a simple use of Apogee's gateway services. We have a web app. The web app will use the Twitter API. This should be straightforward, but it's not. Let's try it. Oh, something went wrong. Here's the code. We're directly calling the Twitter API. It breaks due to cross-origin issues. In order to get things working, I need the Twitter API to allow cross-origin access, but I don't control the Twitter API. Many enterprises are in the same boat. There are APIs that can't be changed, or if they can be changed, they change too slowly. Apogee's Gateway Services solves this problem. I'm going to create a policy that modifies the response from Twitter. On the Code tab, I add a new Assign Message policy and paste in some pre-baked code to set the response header. Now that the policy is in the system, I need to make sure it's executed by the proxy. Doing that involves another XML snippet to make it part of the preflow. That's it. Apogee is configured to modify the Twitter API response. Now we'll replace the Twitter API call in the app with our new customized Twitter API. And it works. We used Apogee's gateway services to customize an API that we didn't control. In this case, the API was Twitter, but it's very common in the enterprise for apps to require capabilities from APIs that can't be easily modified. So what changed here? It wasn't the API. It wasn't the app. Apogee's gateway services allowed us to customize the API and let us resolve an issue without rewriting either the API or the app consuming it.